Neil Ratner Rock Doc with a story. So today I'm going to tell you about Mal Evans. The name may be familiar to some, but for those of you who don't know who Mal is, he was the road manager turned personal assistant for the Beatles. Many would say he was the luckiest guy out there. And for a number of years, that was true. Mal was a big guy, about six foot six. And although really imposing, he was just a gentle giant. He'd show up at the Cavern Club to watch the Beatles, and he eventually struck up a friendship with George Harrison. George liked Mal and recommended that Mal be hired as the doorman for the club. He was, they hung out, and by 1963, Mal had come on board with the Beatles as their full-time bodyguard. Before too long, Mal became the Beatles' road manager. He and Neil Aspinall did everything from driving to lugging gear to setting up to doing anything that the band needed. Mal became such an important part of the group that he appeared in the Beatle movies and he added various sounds while the Beatles recorded like the ringing of the alarm clock in the song A Day in the Life. That was Mal. After the Beatles stopped touring, Mal became more of a personal assistant and took on production jobs around Apple. Evans was actually the one who found the band Badfinger and even produced some of their early recordings. But as the 60s were coming to the end, the Beatles were coming to an end, and Mal's role with Apple got less and less. He was fired and rehired a couple of times by Beatles manager Alan Klein, and eventually he walked away after he separated from his wife and he moved to L.A. In L.A., Mal became friendly with Harry Nielsen and was part of John Lennon's crew during the famous Lost Weekend period. At the same time, he was working on his memoir. But Mal was not doing well, and he was suffering from undiagnosed severe bouts of depression. Let's listen to Mal's work a little bit. He produced this track for Badfinger, no matter what. No matter what you So, it all came to a head on January 5th, 1976. Mal was drunk, he'd taken some Valium, and he was so incoherent that when he spoke to his co-writer, John Horney, Horney felt he had to go see Evans. When he got there, Mal had a shotgun, and the police were called. And after trying to get him to put down the gun, Evans was unfortunately shot and killed. Another tragedy of rock and roll. Paul McCartney had this to say. It was so, so crazy. Mal was a big, lovable bear of a roadie. He would go over the top occasionally, but we all knew him and never had any problems. The LAPD weren't so fortunate. They were just told that he was upstairs with a shotgun, and so they ran up, kicked the door in and shot him. His girlfriend had told him he's a bit moody and he's got some downers. Had I been there, I would have been able to say, Mal, don't be silly. In fact, any of his friends would have talked him out of it without any sweat because he was not a nutter. That's the story of Mal Evans. Did some good work on this song, though. That's my story. I hope you enjoyed it. Neil Ratner Raptor. Have a great day.